to the Journey Shea Chem. Please do the two warm-up questions to the best of your ability, and we'll discuss them in a moment. And number one, we're practicing conversions. That's just so wonderful. Well, here I am going from meters cubed to centimeters cubed. And what I'm looking for is in the numerator or in the top, and what I want to cancel is in the bottom or the denominator. Well, I know that there are 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. And so if I cube 100, 100 times 100 times 100 is a million. And I'm going to change this to 2.55 times 10 to the 1. And 1 plus 6 is 7. And my answer is 2.55 times 10 to the 7th centimeter cubed. In the second one, I'm going to decimeters cubed. So it's in the top of my conversion factor. I want to cancel meters cubed. Well, I know that there are 10 decimeters equals 1 meter. And when I cube 10, I get 1,000. And when I cube 1, I get 1. But you knew that already. And so I have 1 times 10 to the 3 decimeters cubed equals 1 meter cubed. These two values must be equal to e each other. It must be a true statement. And so I can always check myself that way. Well, this is the same as 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 1. And 1 plus 3 is 4. 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 4 decimeters cubed. Now the next two are two steppers. I have kilometers and I want to go all the way to millimeters. I don't want to memorize how many millimeters in a kilometer, so I'm going to go to my base unit. Well, I know there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. And I know there are a thousand millimeters in a meter. And I'm already in exponential form. And when I'm multiplying, I'm adding the exponents. And minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. And my answer is 8.45 times 10 to the minus 2 millimeters. Then we're going from nanograms to kilograms. And notice that the numbers will take care of themselves. I don't need to know really if it's going larger or smaller because when I have my conversion factors, it takes care of itself. So nanograms, I'm going to my base unit, which is grams. And there are a billion nanograms in one gram. And there are a thousand grams in one kilogram. Now I'm dividing, so I'm going to subtract those exponents. 5 minus 9 is minus 4. Minus 3 is minus 7. 5.22 times 10 to the negative 7 kilograms. And you know that I say minus 7, and it's the same as negative 7. They're just different ways of saying the same thing. So this would be my answer for D. That's how you do number one, and I'll be right back. Number two is a density problem, and my formula for density is equal to mass divided by volume. This is number two. Well, in this problem, I'm solving for mass, and therefore I'm going to multiply by volume. Density times volume equals mass. Now, I notice that my density that's given is 8.29 grams per centimeter cubed. And my volume is given in liters, so I have to make a conversion to be consistent. I have 2.1 times 10 to the minus 3 liters. I want to get to milliliters first and cancel my liters because I know that 1 centimeter cubed is 1 milliliter. And I know that there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. 
And when I do the math here, I get 2.1 centimeters cubed. And I always solve my equation for my unknown. And I have that here, and now I'm going to place the numbers in. So I have my density, which is 8.29 grams divided by centimeters cubed. That would be the same thing. And I'm going to multiply it by my 2.1 centimeters cubed, and any number over 1 is the same number, and my centimeters cubed will cancel. And when I do the math here, I get 17.4090 I always cut it off after the fourth digit, and then I go back to the original problem and look for the least number of significant digits given in the problem, and that would be two. So I look at the four, it does not round the seven up, seven up, and I get 17 grams as my final answer there. 17 grams is the mass in this problem. Well, you have worksheet C and D to go over if you haven't gone over them before. And tomorrow you have lab. I'm so excited. I just love lab. And so you need to write up the procedure this evening to get ready for the lab tomorrow. Well, that was some fun, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.